Hi, thanks for checking in. This is Greg from Astera LED Sales. And I'm going to demonstrate how to set the DMX parameters of the Astera light drops using the Astera app. It's really very simple and you get a lot of control. Uh, the way we do that is first we're going to go to the connections tab, which is the icon all the way to the left. You see that? Great, we're there. About three quarters of the way down the page, you'll see a button for DMX configuration, and that's where we're going to find all of our parameters. The first parameter that we can change is strobe. I'm going to set that to none. The DMX address is already preset to one. The table, we've got a bunch of tables to pick from, but I'm going to choose RGBS. We only need control of the red, green, and blue for this case. And let's see, since I've got strobe disabled, it's technically really only going to use three channels, RG and B. Uh, input select, we're going to leave that on auto, DMX failure on hold, and AC failure on ignore. And we're going to see the send button here. I've got all the parameters the way I want, so I'm going to send this information to the lights. And the lights are going to flash, letting me know that the app is sending this information out, and we can accept it by just pressing the on-off button momentarily on the light, and you'll get an indicator let, letting us know that that light is now programmed. Now I want to set the next uh, address to 4, and I can do that very easily by pressing the plus 3 button all the way to the right of DMX address. It will automatically increment to 4. The app actually figures out how many channels that you're actually using, and uh, it'll give you the appropriate number there. So I'm going to hit plus 3 again, so this one will be 7. I'm going to hit it one more time to get 10. Next we have 13. This one will be 16. So they're all set. I'm going to hit the done button and we're done. Now say for instance we decided we want to use a different table. So I'm going to do this. First I'm going to set my DMX address all the way back to 1. I'm going to change the table to say RGBWS. So then we'll have control over the red, the green, the blue, and the white, and the strobe will be off. And uh, everything else looks good, so I'm going to hit the send button, wait for the lights to flash. Hit the plus four, it adjusted that for the four channels. Hit the plus four one more time. Hit the plus four again. This light will be addressed at 13. Seventeen. Twenty-one. There we go. Hit the done button. Now all of these lights are now programmed with a different table. We have control of the red, green, blue, and white. Thanks so much. If I can answer any questions, feel free to email me directly. This is Greg from Astera LED Sales. My email address is info at asteraledsales.com. Thanks again.